Good evening friends, uh, this re video is regarding mandibular nerve block with PNS. Mandibular nerve block is uh, usually needed in uh, mandibular surgeries like mandibular fracture or mandibular resection uh, in uh, malignancies uh, which gives good post-operative analgesia as well as uh, you will require uh, less anesthetic drug because you have uh, given regional block. So it is very useful block. Uh, we are using it uh, for uh, CA buccal mucosa where they re require mandibular resection. So if we look at the anatomy first, here you can see this is the mandible. This is the uh, uh, to, to, uh, this is the condyle and this is the coronate process of the mandible. This is the mandibular notch. This is the zygoma, and here you can see. Uh, if you look at here, you, this is the mandibular nerve. Uh, so, uh, you can access the mandibular nerve through the mandibular notch. You can e very easily uh, give this block uh, through men. It can be given with uh, landmark guided technique only. You have to hit the uh, uh, pterygoid process of the uh, 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 pterygoid process and just redirect medial posterior leaning and inject the drug uh, but with PNS you can have a uh, perfect block. So if we look further anatomy this is the spinoid bone and this is the pterygoid process of the spinoid bone. This is again zygomatic arch. This is the temporal bone. So if we remove the bone we can see the entire uh, mandibular now these are the maxillary and ophthalmic branches. So this is about anatomy. So this is the patient posted, posted for commando surgery uh, for mandibular resection. Uh, first I, uh, I am palpating the mandibular notch. You have to see the tragus. You go 1 to 1.5 cm anterior and you will see a definite dimple there. And uh, that that is your mandibular notch. So the, it can be palpated very easily with even in obese patient. So I am using 10 cm stimulating needle. I am inserting inserting perpendicular to the skin and looking for the response. My PNS is set at 1.5. Uh, I have redirected needle bit cranially and you can see the mandibular nerve response. Now I will reduce the current slowly to 0.5 uh, to see whether it is uh, uh, response is coming or not. You can see I have reduced to 0 0.7, 0 0.6, 0 0.5 and this response is there. So I will go up to 0 0.3 to look for in, uh, uh, intraneural injection. So at 0 0.4 roughly it disappeared. At 0 0.42 it is coming again. So th this is the right place where you can inject the drug. After injecting uh, the drug uh, response has gone. Uh, always aspirate before injection because it is a vascular area. Uh, and uh, inject 7 to 8 ml of LA that is more than enough. So this block can be utilized for uh, uh, giving regional anesthesia of, um, for mandibular surgery and it is very easy easy block and you can utilize it for uh, your mandibular surgeries. Uh, so I hope you liked it. Thank you. Thank you very much.